It's hard to know exactly how to respond when a, a good friend is diagnosed with leukemia, but I think doing nothing is inappropriate. So when I heard that people were shaving their heads and having this event, I, uh, I definitely wanted to come out and be a part of it. Uh, I've known Nick for a few years and he's a great guy. And uh, the friends in this neighborhood are, have become kind of a, like a community. And so whatever we do, we all do together. So I figured why not? Oh, wow. We have no idea how many people we're going to get tonight. Uh, we have more than 100 people RSVP through Facebook. But um, just friends stopping by. Uh, we have some food and we have music. And some people are going to shave their head. Uh, after all, we just want tonight to be... Uh, to be something a little uh, get together for Nick. Uh, his birthday was last week. We couldn't do anything for him since um, you know he was going through a lot. So this is his birthday uh, party almost, but uh, also with a great cause to the Cancer Society. Because uh, throughout the day, Nick was actually talking about he doesn't really want a shaving head to be the main focus of today's event. He really want this whole publicity, the whole media to be about the bone marrow typing because. Um, um, you know, that in itself is such a great message and, and shave, than shaving your head. Well, Nick was diagnosed with uh, leukemia um, about two or three weeks ago. And so uh, a lot of people with leukemia aren't as fortunate as Nick to be responding so well to chemo. And so uh, bone marrow transplants often save their life. And so we're trying to uh, raise awareness about the issue and the illness and also uh, hopefully do some good. So. We have supplies of, uh, for 500 people to be typed it's through the National Bone Marrow Registry. And uh, all you have done is uh, you come in and fill out some forms and have your cheeks swabbed, and then they send it off to a lab, and you have a 1 in 20,000 chance of saving somebody's life.